Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Oracle DBO Online Training. So in this session, we are not looking for any training, but uh, in this session, I'm going to uh, tell you something about my PC configuration that I'm currently using for doing all the lo lot of testing uh, on regular basis. I'm also sharing all those contents with you guys. All, already you, are, yeah, you have seen a lot of stuff like uh, um, Rack database configuration, the database upgradation uh, and backup recovery concepts and even the data guard concepts so all these steps you have already uh, learning from my youtube channel so that's why i'm saying if you are new on my youtube channel please subscribe and apart from that also you can enroll for the exclusive membership benefit and if you want any personal training please get in touch with me on these contact details and email id and also you can follow me on various social media platforms so without wasting much of time i'm going to share my pc configuration that currently i'm using on day-to-day -day basis for uh, all these regular testing. So you, you have already seen there are a lot of uh, uh, virtual box machines. I'm, I mean, uh, I have created for the, these testing. So um, I'm currently using different components uh, and I made all these components as a, my uh, personal uh, computer and the first part in this is around um, the motherboard that currently I'm using. This is a AMD based um, uh, motherboard. And uh, if you look the price, it is uh, 6,300 and rupees, but uh, still I'll prefer you to go with the latest version of uh, uh, this one gigabyte processor. And uh, it is basically around 14,800 rupees. And this is the current processor, the very high processing capacities. And um, and apart from that, if you look at uh, the next component that is I'm using currently, this is a AMD based uh, processor and its cost is around 26,000 rupees. But still, this is having a very um, uh, high capacity of around uh, 3600 uh, clock and the processor core is around six cores and it can go up to four point two gigahertz. Uh, 35 me cache processing or speed okay so this is my suggestion if you are looking for any new processor please go ahead with this uh, and uh, this is going to make your job easier and uh, even though you can go ahead with the latest generation also like uh, 36k uh, 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 rising uh, processing uh, processor okay and uh, this will make your uh, I mean, processing capacity very fast and the next part is the RAM. So, okay, so let me just, uh, sorry, this is my hard disk. So uh, currently I'm using um, um, this one, Barracuda Seagate based uh, um, SSD drive. This is one terabyte SSD drive that currently I'm using. This This will cost you around 9,000 rupees. And um, also I'm currently using this uh, RAM of around uh, mm, 30, 32 GB of RAM currently I'm using and uh, basically if you have your uh, motherboard is having uh, four slots then you can go ahead with four different RAM of the same version I mean uh, same processing speed uh, around like uh, 3200 megahertz or 3000 megahertz so depending upon your motherboards you can basically go ahead but uh, uh, as I'm saying, all these configuration I used for the single uh, PC configuration. So maybe you can prefer to go ahead with this uh, same configuration that I'm currently showing you. And this will cost you around uh, 6,190 rupees uh, per RAM. So this is a 16 GB RAM. That, that means you need to purchase at least two RAM. So 32 GB RAM basically make your life easier while configuring any rack database uh, setup or maybe a rack uh, standby setup. And even though you can go ahead with the OEM configuration uh, uh, trainings also, I mean, uh, on your PC, you can configure various different um, machines if you have a higher size of your RAM. Okay, so currently um, my PC is having 32 GB of RAM. And apart from that, if you look at, this is my, this is the monitor currently I'm using. It is a uh, LG based uh, um, uh, 55 centimeter. That is a 22 inch monitor. So you can, and, um, this is also a good choice to go ahead with. Okay. And apart from that, uh, this is my cabinet that I'm currently using. So all these links you can get in the description. I'm, I'm giving a um, full details um, about all these steps and uh, you can just click and purchase all these uh, um, 
components and make your own PC. So just you have to do the little bit of assembling and uh, uh, your PC will be ready for uh, I mean next generation uh, DBA PC. Okay, so as a DBA, we should be uh, doing a lot of uh, testing before uh, going ahead with the production related changes. Okay, so if you configure uh, the different virtual machines like I have configured, so it is best choice to go ahead with all these uh, different components I'm currently showing you. So uh, if you look at all these components, so basically I'm suggesting uh, total six different components that you need to use and make your pc uh, faster and it will cost you around seventy-eight thousand rupees so this is going to be a very best configuration ever for any database administrator testing environment okay and apart from that if you are not preferring this then you can go ahead with the laptop uh, purchase also but that i mean uh, that is up to you but uh, my suggestion will be go ahead with your pc configuration that will be very uh, best in, in terms of performance in terms of uh, working capacities and um, but still if you're uh, laptop lower then maybe you can basically go ahead with this laptop so this is uh, around 32 gb sorry 16 gb of ram but still the ram is a uh, little adequate so you need to uh, basically uh, maybe increase your ram size also in future <laughs> So my suggestion is uh, go ahead with uh, PC configuration with all these details. I'm pro I'm providing the links in the description. Please go ahead with that. And even though if you look at any videos, so uh, in all of the videos you will you will find the links. You can basically uh, go ahead and purchase. So currently there are a lot of sales are going on. Maybe you if you if you are uh, residing in India, maybe you can purchase these uh, components uh, very easily. So I hope uh, this is helpful for you guys. And uh, again, uh, thanks for watching today's session. In next video, I'm going to um, give you some more learning stuff. So I'm stopping here and uh, have a great day. Bye. Thanks.